President Mohamed Buhari has been advised to keep to his promises by facilitating the release of Lia Sharubu from Boko Haram captivity before the expiration of his administration. The traumatized parents made a demand at a press conference in Yola. Meanwhile, one of the victims of the Boko Haram kidnappings, who recently regained freedom, shared her encounter with Lia and others. She confirmed that she had two babies for the outlawed husband, calling on government to remember those still in the clutches of the outlaws. Lia Sharubu was one of the 110 female students of the Government Girls Science and Technical College, Dapchi, Yoba State, who were abducted on February 19, 2018 by Boko Haram terrorists. While others were released by the terrorists following negotiations, Lia, then 14 years old, continued to be held captive because she refused to renounce her Christian faith. I'm pleading with the president of Nigeria, Mr. Muhammad Buhari, to fulfill his promise. Because he has made several promises. He promised the family, he promised Nigerians, and even promised the whole world that his administration would do his possible best to see that my daughter return home safely. And up to now, today is a good four years without hearing anything from him again. And much more, his tenure is about to finish. So I'm pleading to him to fulfill his promise before the end of his tenure. And I'm calling for the Nigerians and the members of the press to please put pressure on the federal government concerning the release of my daughter. We are counting few months for him to step down or to end this tenure. So the legacy we are pleading with President Buhari that will help the family of Leah Sharibu and the entire Nigerian people to remember him is that he has fulfilled that promises that he has made four years down the lane and set Leah free. A lot of girls are still in captivity. It's no longer a story that Leah is still alive and has two children, as we've been hearing the news. So Leah is very much alive. And the likes of her, so many other young girls who are out there living helpless lives, living in fears, living in hopelessness, are still there, hoping that a day will come that the government would remember them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.